Cessna fuel system. This particular plane has six total fuel tanks. The two mains on the outboards, the two auxiliaries on the inboards, and the two locker tanks directly above the engines. The outboard, the main tanks, have 100 gallons between the two of them. The inboards have 63 gallons between the two of them, and the locker tanks have, each of them have 20 gallons, so 40 gallons. So all together, we can, if we chose to do so, carry 203 gallons of fuel. Now we do not use the the, uh, the wing locker tanks because we don't need that much fuel. If we do, then I'm probably gonna need a bathroom break before we run out of fuel. So we start off operating upon the mains. The mains go directly to the engines. 50 gallons per side or 100 gallons total. After roughly 90 minutes of flight is when we switch over to the auxiliary tanks. Now the auxiliary tanks are also uh, fueled and plumped directly to the engine. However, the excess fuel that gets sent to the engine but unused gets plumbed and sent back to the tanks, to the main tanks. So that's why we started off at about 30 some gallons of fuel in both sides of your main tanks after we've been on uh, auxiliary tanks for now uh, 30 minutes, you now have more fuel in the main tanks than you started with before you switched to the auxiliary tanks. If I chose to put fuel over the wing locker, I have two switches down here. The wing lockers are not plumbed directly to the engines. I cannot fuel the engines directly from the wing lockers. I have a transfer pump. So the transfer pump, I have to be, uh, I have to uh, transfer the fuel via a pump from the wing locker tanks to the main tanks on the tips. The fuel system is one of the most complicated things on a twin Cessna aircraft. It is something that you need to know, understand, um, and uh, and really be very proficient in. If not, you'll you'll find that you're looking at full fuel, but your engine stop because you don't have any fuel going to them. You gotta be very aware of what you're doing and how you're doing it. But the fuel system is one of the things you have to really understand. There's a diagram of the POH that has how the pipes go and, and all that. It's really interesting. And uh, that's something that the DPE, for me, asked me about during my check ride, as he should.